I do want to unpack that a little bit more because the, the value I see in that, that discussion, those experiences you, you gained in that previous life is I know there are so many people who are afraid to pivot in life. I was having a conversation with Lewis House a few months ago when he released his new book and he was talking about identity foreclosure. And when I read about identity foreclosure and he talked about identity foreclosure, I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since where essentially I'll use someone who, uh, who wants to be a doctor growing up. And when you're in high school, you decide you want to be a doctor. So you apply for college and you go through undergrad and then you go through graduate and you go through residency. And before you know it, you're a decade in a school and you're about to be a full-time doctor making half a million dollars. But at that moment in time, when all the work has been done, you don't want to be a doctor anymore but you're afraid to pivot because that's your identity. You've been identifying with that for the last decade. So I'd love to talk about what you learned as a a model and a club promoter and, you know, this previous life, Mm -hmm. what lessons did you take away from those experiences? So I think that's going to provide a lot of value to encourage people to be okay with pivoting, no matter how much time, money, energy they've invested into one thing. So what lessons did you learn in that chapter of life? One thing straight off the bat that everybody needs to realize is that if you are succeeding in a life that you don't enjoy, think about how much more successful you would be in a life that you do enjoy. 85% of Americans are either actively disengaged or not engaged with their work, right? Think about how much better those, and tons of them are successful. Tons of them are really, they're killers, they'd be great at their job, they're doing sales, they're doing architecture, doing whatever the fuck they're doing think about how much better they would be if they were actively engaged. So for me, um, I arrive at university at the age of 18, um, kind of unpopular throughout most of school, pretty lonely, um, was an only child, and just really struggled to relate to other kids a lot. Got to uni, and you know how uh, over the summer holidays, every single year when you went back to school, you always thought, this is the opportunity for me to reinvent myself, and I'm going to be one of the cool kids. This is like the ultimate version of that, right?